Hi everyone, in this lecture we will talk about depth first search or DFS as it is called, okay? So it's another way to traverse the graph and it's very simple, okay? So what this method suggests is that you start from a node, let's say we start from zero. It says you go to any neighboring node that is not visited. So let's say from zero we can either go to one or we can go to three. So let's assume we go to three and it says you repeat the process. So now you are at three, you will still uh, do the same steps. Go to any neighboring node that is not visited. Now you can go to two or you can go to four. Let's assume we go to four, okay? And you again repeat the same step. So you, out of all the neighbors of four, you pick any one node that is not visited and you try to visit that. So there is only one node that is five and you go to five and you still again find a node that is not visited. Now you see, all the neighbors of five are visited. So what do you do? You come back, okay? And at four, you try to find a neighbor that is uh, there and that's not visited. But still, at this in this graph, we don't have any neighbor. But maybe if we had a neighbor n, we would have come to that neighbor and then we could have returned back, okay? And from four, you again return back. Now at three, you again and try to find a neighbor that is still not visited. So you find a neighbor two, and at two you find a neighbor that is not visited. You go to one, and you try to find a neighbor that is not visited. So one has a neighbor zero, but zero is visited, and so you try to go to go back to two, and from two you go back to three, and from three you go back to zero again. Okay, so this is how we have um, traversed this graph. So the output would be zero three four, five, and then it will be two, and it will be one. So this is what a, a DFS traversal looks like. Uh, there can be multiple ways, uh, there can be multiple paths you can get. So maybe if in the adjacency list, if uh, one is the first neighbor of zero, okay, so zero can have a neighbor as three or one, but if zero has a neighbor one and three, then the first call would be made on one, and when one can make a call on two, two can make a call on three, three can make a call on four, and four can make a call on five. And from here, we can come back, okay? So it's a recursive process. So you go go, go to next node, and finally, you end up in deep inside a branch, okay? So you can see from zero, you ended up in at five, and from five, you are uh, backtracking, and you're uh, coming back through the same path, okay? So that's why it's called depth first search okay so this is what dfs is and uh, let's see how we can implement a dfs function okay so let's uh, try to implement a dfs function so what we need to do in this function is we again need to maintain a visited array, okay? So since we are using a map, um, because we do not know what type of data we will get, so this data can be int, this can be string, this can be a custom node also. So I can just ma ma maintain a map of the type t comma bool, and let's call this as visited. And what we can do, we can uh, mark all the nodes as not visited in the beginning okay so that will help in two steps uh, two things one all the nodes will be added to the map and second we can uh, mark them as unvisited okay so that's what we can do in this step so let's iterate over all the nodes for auto some pair p that's there in the map l so we can say a uh, node is p dot first and we can say visited of that node equal to false okay now this function is going to be a recursive function but this initialization that we are doing should be done only one time so what we, we can do is we can make a helper function let's call it as dfs helper and this function uh, gets the source from where we want to start the node, start the DFS call. So maybe we have the first node, let's call that as a source. And we also should pass this visited array. Okay, 
so we can say we are getting a map of the type t comma bool and it's visited and since this map should remain same uh, in all the function calls we must pass it by reference so we should not make a copy of the map because it should be common for all function calls so we have a function uh, dfs we have a function dfs helper so dfs helper is the recursive function that will traverse the graph okay that will traverse the graph so what you need to do so you are given okay you are at standing at source node so what you will do you will just print out that particular node so you can see out source that means you have visited that node and what you need to do you need to go to any neighbor of that node that is not visited okay so instead of any we should actually go to all neighbors of that node but one by one okay so let's iterate over neighbors of that particular node so for t type neighbor that's there in list of source we can say if not visited neighbor okay so then we will visit it so how do we will visit it we will use recursion so we can call uh, this function dfs helper and here we can say okay go and visit the neighbor given the visited map that's it and that should do the work for us okay so let us first try to run this code and we have given the source node as zero and we should also call the helper function so i can say uh, dfs helper of source and visit it okay so let me uh, explain you the control flow once so we in from the main we are making a call to this so from the main we make a call to this function dfs the goal of this function is just to create a visited array and mark all the nodes as false in the beginning also okay we forgot to add one step that this node is visited so visited of source should be equal to true very important step so whenever you are coming to a node you you must mark it as visited okay so let's see from the main we call this function dfs and from that dfs we make a call on dfs helper and from here the recursive calling starts 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so let's see let's see the output first and then we can uh, go through this once again so dot slash dfs okay build the code that's fine so it says 0 1 2 3 4 5 so 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 that's perfectly fine so now let's see how this code works okay so let's just have a look okay so we maintain a visited array let's say this is a visited array or it's a visited hash map so initially nothing is visited then we start from 0 we see okay 0 has a neighbor 1 that is not visited so we see out 0 and we mark that as visited so zero is visited so for all the neighbors of zero we say okay if we find a neighbor so zero has neighbor 1 and 3 we see if one is visited no it's not let's go and visit one so by using this function so we come to one and this starts a recursive call so we see neighbor of one that's two that's not visited so we come to two and we say okay let's uh, go and visit two and two sees okay there is a neighbor 3 that's not visited so let's go to 3 and visit it and 3 says okay there is a neighbor 4 that's not visited so we go to 4 4 says okay there is a neighbor 5 that's not visited so we go to 5 and 5 at 5 you see okay 5 has a neighbor 4 but it's already visited so you just return from here it does not do anything and since uh, the previous function call was 4 at 4 so from 5 we return to 4 at 4 we see okay this for loop uh four had uh, two neighbors four had a uh, neighbor 3 and four had neighbor 5 so 3 was already visited 5 is now visited so we just return back to the previous function call that is 3 and 3 says okay i have a neighbor 2 uh, i have a neighbor 
and I have a neighbor 4 but all of them are visited. So this for loop does not execute for 3 and we come back to 2 and same goes again we come back to 1 and finally we end up at 0. So you can see uh, there is a stack formation like this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we go deep inside a branch and then one by one these nodes are these frames are popped from the start and eventually we end up at this particular point okay so this statement is executed when that uh, node is visited for the first time and when we are uh, coming back uh, we do not print it again okay so that part is basically out so this is what depth first search is and i hope uh, this solution is clear. It's a very simple and a small solution, just a recursive function that we are making. And the visited error is needed because we just want to make sure that we do not get stuck in a cycle inside the graph, okay?